Greetings family, this is Bomani Taimba and I'm here with my sister Troya and we're here to talk about a very very important topic to my sister do black men have too many options? Right? Alright, so family, and before we get into it, as you can see, I'm rocking the, you know, one of the new Black Star you know, soccer jersey, Ghana. And talking about Ghana family, we'll see you in Ghana with us November 2018. That's November 16th to the 26th of 2018. Yes, family, we still have more space. And if you missed that journey, we have another journey coming up. May 22nd to June 4th, 2019. And beyond that, we have November 2019. That's South Africa, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and Botswana. So yes, family, these are the Journey of Our Lifetime expeditions we have. So visit our website, Africa, for the Africans.org. And yes, my sister, you're talking about coming to Ghana with us uh, in May next year, right? Yes, I can't wait. It's going to be fun. Perfect. And you said black men. Do black men in America have too many options or black men in general? Um, black men in general, but black men in America. All right, perfect. And then, and, and that's based on your world living in America. Well, we're gonna be taking you to the land of the warriors. Yeah. I can't wait. I saw those pictures you showed me on your, your camera. Yeah. Yeah. She liked them. Strong warriors. That's right. Fine black men. And I always tell my brothers. <laughs> I always tell my brothers they gotta. We, you know, we're gonna do our best to connect you with some wonderful sisters. So brothers. Our sister will be there checking out, giving you a shout, and I'm just bring you. your A game. All right, now let's get into it. Now, black men have too many options, or do black men have too many options? Now, how okay. did that come about? And why do that, man? Let's, let's have a nice little toast. Okay. To the, you know, toast to the ancestors. Right. right. Toast and salute to the ancestors. All the real black men. Marcus Garvey that came and did it first. Absolutely, family. Absolutely. Um, now, I'll say, I don't too many options i don't know about too many but black men do have a lot of options and i think that's one reason why a lot of black men choose to not be with black women because for a black man to love a black woman in america is an absolute act of revolution and because it's hard to be a revolutionary it's not made for the for the weak heart it's, you got to be strong-minded and strong-willed and so i think um black men having a lot of options does cause black men to choose elsewhere because if you think about it it is easier to love somebody who is not directly oppressed systematically by the government and so any other woman besides a black woman doesn't have to go through what we go through so they're not going to carry the anger they're not going to necessarily carry um, the scars that we carry and um, at the same time carry the knowledge that we carry knowing that we literally have built the country everything is on our backs including black men that we built and raised up and so um, as black women, we carry a lot. And because we carry a lot, it can sometimes be hard to understand us. We have a hard time putting down the, um, the mantle of strength that we feel is our, our burden to carry. And so uh, for that reason, it is a revolutionary ex love black women. And black men do have a lot of options, including other men. And so, you that's know. That's some sick stuff, man. That, but, it's, but that's yeah, real. But you're about to make you know? throw my <laughs> wine up in, in, in the So, camera. I mean, black men have a lot, a lot of options from every ethnic group to um, different um, men from different ethnic groups. So, it's so many wow, options man. out there. World of madness. And it's, you know, so. What happened, what happened to the days when it was just between a black man and a black woman? And it was just, that's it. And nothing else. It was just, nothing else. Was just, that was it. Well, black men, like just like black women, black men have been systematically um, programmed to believe that they should love anybody else except for a black woman. So even though he has seen his mother love him and the community his whole life, it still is easier for him to choose to love someone else because he's patted on the back when he loves somebody else besides a black woman. He's applauded when he loves somebody else besides a black woman. And they, they uplift him when he loves somebody else besides a black woman. And so um, it's easier. And then, too, if you, and, and, just, and just to think about it, just to remove yourself for a moment, let's just say, who, who wouldn't want to choose the path of least resistance? Who doesn't want to be applauded? Who doesn't want to be um, saluted? So, you know, I understand, you know, from the outside looking in why he would make that. Now, is it hurtful? Absolutely, because I want to see a black man choose a black woman. But at the same time, I do understand why it's easier and I do understand why black men make those choices. And um, so, you know, my resolve 
is to love black men regardless regardless of who they are with regardless of who they choose to love man or woman regardless of ethnic group regardless of how much they make so I, I will give the same love and hug to a homeless black man that I will to somebody who makes six figures because for me a black man is, is to be loved that's what I was taught and that's what that's just how I roll cool, powerful now uh, some of these other uh, options that you talk about uh, um, is it more so in the interracial relationship or intercontinental relationship you know basically um, black men um, going to different parts of uh, the black world or black men also going to different parts of the state or even wherever they are and mm -hmm. you know connecting with a different race and you see that more prevalent than women doing the same thing yeah because you know the, you know, the swirl movement the, the, the female swirl movement is, is, a, is a big thing nowadays and and if so, if it is uh, is it because of you know men doing certain things well i think f for me personally i can only speak for myself but i do think that um again it's easier you know i meet white men all the time and you know within six weeks who want to marry me who want to say you know hey we have a lot in common let's be committed to one another let's but and then it that doesn't happen like that with black men with black men it's a lot harder so i think that's why the swirl movement like you called it maybe a little bit <laughs> it's it's popping because um you know maybe more people are, are recognizing the beauty and the strength in the black woman and i think that um that's a beautiful thing but for me i choose to love a black man it's not easy and it's not um it's not even necessarily popular but that's that's my choice and so I think to to answer that question, um, black men do look elsewhere, but other people are looking for them too. Because the coolest thing in the world in the world to have right now is a black man. That's why we came from that's why the sisters having a hard time finding one. Everybody want one. But I get it, you know, black men are beautiful. And oh. and, and you know, to me, easy to love sometimes, sometimes not, but you know I uh, you know, I would love a black man. Well, perfect. Let's get into some specifics, some specs, okay. like the pictures okay. you, you showed me <laughs> <laughs> earlier. The black and the bear, the sweet and juice. Um, yeah, so uh, you can even flip the picture or you can I just give some Because <laughs> I ain't giving nobody no love and they gave me no ring. No, we ain't showing nobody Nathan's. <laughs> we can just give some verbal description in the height, weight, size, What figures. I personally like? Yeah. Well, really, I like well, I like I like all black men. So they don't have to be tall. They don't have to be short. Um, they don't have to be light skinned or dark skinned. I typically usually will end up with a dark skinned man. Um, I think it's because my dad is a dark skinned man. So a lot of times I like dark skinned men with beards because my dad is a dark skinned man with a beard. And a lot of times women tend to choose um, men that look like their fathers. So I think maybe that's why. So you're looking for more like a, you know, one of the, like the Mandingo warrior. Maybe so, yeah. yeah I like, like a Mandingo. Like... Now I like them skinny too. I've I've dated skinny <laughs> men. I've dated tall men, short men, um, really really big men. I just like, I like the ones that like me back. That's <laughs> that's what's up. <laughs> like the ones that like you, right? That's a good place to start. And so the fellas is like, you know, they want you to drop that email address so they can send you their resume and application. Sure, send me your resume, your application. It's Latroya dot Bishop L A T R O Y A dot Bishop B I S H O P at gmail dot com. So you respond to me, I'll respond back. That's what's up. You're bold. You give out your information. Yeah, I'm not scared. That's what's up. This video will not be edited. <laughs> black men are to be loved and not feared. I'm not scared of a black man. That is what's up. Yeah, and that's, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that you live in some place like uh, this crazy outer limits of ATL. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, you know. But I will say, I did meet a lot of good black men on a particular dating website. I won't say which one because they ain't paying me to advertise for them. But I, I really meet a lot of good men. And um, well, you know, they, they're more on the player side. Or they, they just uh, the artists like they just uh, playing the field. Right. Well, I think it goes back to your first question. They really do have a lot of options. <laughs> so they're trying to figure out what do they want. Do they want to be a revolutionary and be with a black woman, or do they want to be with uh other? Or I call them a not. That's anybody that's not black. 
So do they want a knot or do they want a black woman? Wow. Wow. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's a lot to think about, but that's that's how it goes. Oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, uh, it's yeah, it's just, um, talking about the city. It's a strange city. Uh, I, I just remember trying to talk to this one lady, and then her girlfriend walked up on me. It's kind of weird stuff you got going on nowadays. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you know, I made peace and walk away. I don't, the worst thing is get beat down by you know, beat down by, by a, a female hey. butch, a female butch. Somebody <laughs> girlfriend, you gotta be respectful. You gotta respect it. Well, we have family, so um, you know. It's the the world we live in now is just the normality is just crazy. It's like anything goes, and that's and people like ourselves that are cultured people like I, I can't take this. That's why we're working our hardest to get things going in Africa, where you know where these anything goes is not the normality. Uh, you know, so yeah. I think you should love who you want to love and be nice to folks. Don't yeah, uh, how about don't ask, don't tell, and keep you sitting in the closet and don't don't invade other people's life with your drama. <laughs> don't and that may be a lot to ask for certain people, but yeah. Hey, when I was in the Navy, you know, what I mean, um, it was it was Clinton, it was the president. He said, you know, don't ask, don't tell, it, you know. Uh, so, so you, know you want mean? people to be in the closet and just be crazy? You want people, you know. <laughs> That's Why? a good question. No. That's a good question. People have to be, you know, because be who you are. No, I want, people, I want people to be safe, you know, and a lot of times people doing that is causing themselves drama, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes, I, I don't know, you know what I mean? You know, I don't live that life, you know. I love all my beautiful sisters, you know, with a yeah. passion all day, every day, and we keep it strong. But yeah, for those who have a confused lifestyle, that's you not, know, I guess they you know, do what they need to do. I just try to tell folks, I mean, when they come around, people like myself, I'm doing business. I don't need to know what you're doing. Just, you know, just focus on what we're focusing on. Well, once, yeah, when it's business, once you, different. once you, once you, once you come out, then I'm like, then, then that becomes a problem because then, you know, people are you know, like, Yo, you know, I don't want certain people around my children. I don't want certain people around family members. And that's how people like myself are. Every, everyone that rolls with me and my family with me, you know, it's 100% nation building until we die. Black man, woman, and child. The Trinity, you know what I'm saying? Let me show them the Trinity. You know what I mean? Bam, there you go. Black man, woman, and child. There you go. That's it. You know, but I also I, think you have to love your own self and love who you love. Absolutely. And like I said, those other things after what we just saw about, they can just like, you know, you know. But one thing I love about the African continent, they ain't playing around. Obama tried to come to you with some kind of madness and then like, shut them down, my youth. Them shut them down. What do you mean? Try to come through with you know with, with pushing his agenda. You know he will always be known as, you know, the 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 the, the trans president. <laughs> well, I mean all the laws and things are passed with these people. You know what I mean? Okay. So you know you, you get a nickname and stuff like that. But during the time of in, in Africa, I re and I just enough respect to you know the you know, presidents which are just like hardcore you know men. You know, cause they grow up and ask for become nation building. So it's only man, woman, and child and about building family. Anything else is not their high, not their priority. Things that that goes on in their country, I'm sure it is, but that's not their priority to to, to deal with that or focus on that. And I heard a Kenyan president, specifically in a few YouTube videos, explain that he said we have more important things to worry about than one or two people that are you know one whatever alternative lifestyle. He just say that you know they just need to respect the rules and laws and culture of the country just like everybody okay. else, and don't ask for no special privilege. I mean. So, but nevertheless, let's get back on okay. the many, many, many options. I'm just trying options. to understand. I'm listening. I'm trying to learn and just listen, hear huh. another perspective. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But yeah, in That's Africa. important. But I think with relationships, when you have somebody whose perspective is different or that you don't know, you have to ask questions and listen. So Yeah, relationship and culture in Africa is completely different. And, you know, uh, I'm one of them people that vowed to this, like, you know, you know, my next chance of you know of of, of, of nation building is only going to be on the African continent, you know, because it's like you f I feel like when you get when you get married and when you get lock your life down in this country, mm -hmm. you lock your life in in the values and also you put your life in the mercy of the system. That's true. You know what I'm saying? That's so, uh, but true. but just like anywhere else, if you go to Ghana, you're you know that's your life. But you know, it's it's you know it, for us, it's good to. Get a chance, an option. Like my sister's talking about black men having all this option. I want my option to leave this plantation, you know what I'm saying, and you know, and not be here forever. You know, right now, you know, we're finishing, we're wrapping up business, you know what I mean, in the modified Bomani technology. As a matter of fact, the, what, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, you're almost at 100%. Uh, our, our sister computer had a ghost in it, you know, so she called Bomani crazy. Technology this morning. I said, come crazy. true, and it's, it's being fixed right now. Cause and he's a man. If something's wrong with your computer, 
But modern technology got you covered. So fam, yes, all kind of high tech stuff uh, we do. And while we know I'm working on a computer, my sister was like, I love your relationship videos. I was like, for real, I was like, I can't remember the last one of the ones I've done because, you know, we don't do much of them because usually people be like, nah, I'm not going to talk about that. I'll be talking, I'll be like, well, the subject's such a basic subject, you know, foreplay, um, love, things like that. And like, nope, nope, nope. They just check everything off. I'm like, all right, we can't really talk about relationships if you're not willing to talk about something. That's right. And the Scorpio in me ain't never scared to uh -oh. talk about nothing. Two Scorpios on YouTube. That's family. right. So, so, my next relationship book is going to be about real relationships. That's what's up. You going to give him a hint of the title? Um, I don't remember the exact title, <laughs> but um, <laughs> he will be doing the interview when the book comes out. Yeah, I think it was called something like Sensual. And sexuality. Yeah, yeah, love, relationship, sexuality. I love the I love the other title. Uh, you know, the why subtitle: men... why, why Men Need Head. <laughs> it's scientific. It's <laughs> metaphysics. You so silly. It's real stuff, and we we really need I to talk about it. I appreciate you being honest. Yeah, and especially in the uh, in the black community, number one, but also people. A lot of people in the black community are from the church. And in the church, folks don't talk about sexuality. And they wonder why that man left. Or they wonder why he is on the down low with some dude somewhere. Or, you know, just whatever. I really think we need to embrace having a conversation about sex mm. and sexuality and relationships. In the it, 21st century. because it, In it's, the 21st it, century, It's different yeah. from like a century ago, right? <laughs> right. And then too, maybe for me, it's a little bit different. Because when I was um, in my early 20s, just kind of coming up. We talked about it a lot because the hottest rapper at the time was Lil' Kim. And she leads with oh, yeah, sexuality. And I absolutely <laughs> love her. I went to Howard University. She was on our campus a lot. Her and Biggie and Puff Daddy and, you know, the whole bad boy family. So being around that kind of um, openness and people talking about who they are, what they believe, how they love, who they choose to love was just, it was different. But it was a beautiful thing for me. And it made me embrace my own self, my own sexuality. I am a sexual person. And so all people are, but I think we just don't talk about it enough. And so I will I will do that. All right, perfect. Excellent, Noel. Explain and define uh, into your sexuality. We, okay, tell all business on thing. Now, what do you really want to know? I mean, I mean, are you into it like you like just looking at yourself naked or you like, you know, be specific? Well, yeah. specifically what I'll say is that the book has 10 chapters. And in the book, we will talk about everything that relates to sexuality, like how your, um, when you're born, whether you want to call it your, um, your sign, your horoscope, how that really does affect you sexually, how all of those things affect you sexually. Um, why um, oral sex is important and not just from the uh, physical sense I know we think about sex and sexuality just from the physical sense but the psychological aspect of what oral sex really means to men so we'll dive deep into that in the book and just in terms of him really needing to feel that he's in control that he is powerful all those things that's what's up. is that what it's all about that's, that's what it's what's all up. about and it really because um, if you think about it people who have mental blocks psychologically are not able to have sex or wow. either they aren't able to do it in a way that's really healthy so people are incarcerated are like sexually frustrated to, to say the highest least, level yes to the highest level but not all of them because again it's mental so a lot of them are able to really still be to have a normal sense of sexuality because they're able to express it in other ways by themselves with pictures or just with whatever they have kept in their minds and so on the flip side of that a lot of women will be um, celibate for a while or, um, you know, engage in certain religions for a while and then get married and doing it, quote unquote, God's way and still not be able to be sexually fulfilled because in their mind, they have been told and taught their whole life that sex is wrong, that sexuality is wrong, that talking about sex and talking about sexuality is wrong. So um, all of those things are really important. A lot of, of what happens or does not happen in your bed begins in your mind wow. and so you have to be willing to control like a, that like a fantasy yeah a, a, a fantasy but even just really being healthy having a healthy relationship with yourself with your mind with your consciousness with your image with your uh with your body with who you are and all of those things go back to just really being able to, to love yourself and being able to have that conversation about sex and sexuality with yourself first 
understanding who you are first, what you need first before you try to get somebody else to please you. You have to actually figure out what exactly you want and why. And because people don't really take a step back to think about what do I want and why? What what do I really need? Do I really need to just feel like a man? Do I feel like I really need to be heard? Do I have this um, this old thing in me that's just saying I need to be in control? What What is that? What is that about? We We will uncover all of those things in the book because those are, again, things that you really need to discuss. And just like in the both the first two books that I wrote, shameless plug the answers a guide to discussing race and racism you also have an action guide in this book too you'll have an action guide so that you can actually work through it with your partner your husband your lover whomever you can work through it and actually get to know what you need first before you go and put on somebody else oh you know my man is not satisfying me or or my girl is not satisfying me i need two women usually it's not you need somebody else usually is that you really need to sit down and think about what you need and why and you probably have some kind of need that's unfulfilled that has nothing to do with your physical body or somebody else's but it's emotional and you got to deal with that stuff wow family that was powerful <laughs> now my sister Troy is speaking like really like dr bishop that's for dr real. bishop in the house that is what's up wow wow Whew, let me um uh, wow. <laughs> probably need to go open up another bottle of wine <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, and you know, so many things is really based on compatibility. It really to, to really is. sum it up. You have to be compatible. The man that I'm in love with right now does not know it. But when he is in the room and I'm in the room, other people have said, um, do y'all need to go have a conversation? Because How about y'all go get a hotel room? <laughs> but I mean, you know, when you are con- attracted to somebody and just kind of compatible on that level, it's just there. And sometimes it's just not. Um, yeah. So compatible yeah yeah deja vu yeah absolutely that's what it's about family that's what so it's about. a lot of us are linking up and we're not compatible and that's causing you know a flow of madness in the scene right. so you know like my sister say black men have too many options so a lot of options are like you know what i mean I guess I guess you see brothers see see different targets and you're not compatible right. but they're just a target to penetrate right. handle to devour, yeah, to, exactly. to conquer. <laughs> and let me say too, on that same note, I think black men are not taught to choose themselves first. They think that they need to choose somebody else so that something outside of themselves is what's going to satisfy them. But that's not true. Because if you are a black man, you are God anyway first. If God, if you believe in God the Father and you're the son, then just like a duck have a, a baby duck, or a cow have a baby cow, a god has to have a god, period. So you're a god anyway. That What you need is already inside of you. It's not between somebody else's legs, male or female or, or whatever. So you really got to start with that. Choose yourself first. Choose love first. You know, of course, because I'm a black woman and want a black man, I think you should choose revolution first. Choose a black woman. That's what, that's what's, but, up. You know, hey, that's what it's about, black Love black that's nation building. That's it. But if you don't, I still got love for you too. See, she, see and, my, and sister, my, my sister Troy is a little nicer than me. <laughs> she's, she's she's like uh, I believe she's like love the, and respect. She's like everybody. the nicer half of the revolution. I'm like I'm like on the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm on the nice side. I love people regardless of who they choose to love. I think that's the only way. That's awesome. That's awesome. Wow. Woo. Uh, I was trying to figure out what we were gonna really talk about, but uh, that was it. <laughs> So you will have me back to talk about my other book when it comes out. Perfect. So where do you have all these other books, the pre the pre ones that uh, are they somewhere floating around in cyberspace? Or they just in, in my brain. Or they just so, in your closet. <laughs> no, I'm almost done with the one on relationships. Um, and I was supposed to put it out this past February, but I was working with somebody else who was going to co-author it, and they just kind of got scared. So I'm doing it by myself. Mm. And um, I'll put it out. It's going to be coming out the second week of October. Wow, were you too much woman for them or something like that? <laughs> no? Kind of. He just was it's scary. Yeah, yeah. Just being too close to all that, you know? Yeah. You know? All, <laughs> Pretty much. You know, all that. The chocolate mix with caramel mix with brown sugar <laughs> and all the goodness. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, yeah, nowadays, I'm not sure what happened. It's like something in the water, you know? It's like, you know, it's like you got like, like you know, you got like, go, you know, like, like give some of these guys a push. Like, Go talk to her. <laughs> you know, like, go. She's not gonna bite you. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't think I'm intimidating. Like you said, I think I'm nice. I'm friendly. Yeah. Maybe you thought you, you was going to like rip his clothes off and just like, and, and turn him straight or something. <laughs> That's awful. No, he know I don't, He the guy, he know that I don't want him. I don't know. He just, he just backed out. Oh, well. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> that's amazing. Well, I definitely appreciate you sharing your consciousness and all your wonderful energy right here on Revolutionary Cam here at Bomani Technology Studios. As you know, we're in the upgrade phase and working on some new project so we can get this cash flow to build enterprises in Africa. That's right. And wow, uh, you have dropped some. Wow. I'm trying to see where we go from there. <laughs> uh, if you want to give us some more uh, email address uh, for, for, you know, for the resumes and applications that be sent in. Well, uh, again, my name is Troya Bishop. My email is uh, Latroya, L-A-T-R-O-Y-A dot Bishop at gmail.com. You can send me whatever you like to send. I'm also at Obear Troya on Facebook and on Instagram. And I'm on Bobani's page, so you can find me on his page if you're his friend already. That's Just search my name all over Instagram and all them places marketing mm -hmm. yourself uh, so perfect you're about to unleash the incredible book energy yes. so why relationships uh, more than anything else uh, but you did mention that you talked about um, ra uh, no, one book about racism right but why now so much uh, it seemed like you just like as a matter of fact, I was about to ask you, are you like a professional psychologist? And are you like, you know, you're like hitting it on the head and, you know? I'm a teacher. I'm a professional teacher. Uh, my background is in education. My uh, bachelor's, well, my bachelor's is in communications, but my, um, my master's degree and both my doctorate are in education. And I really believe in nation building. And I believe that if we are really going to build ourselves as black people, we really have to start with the family and the, the, um, the man and the woman are the base of the family, you know, in the in the uh, pyramid. And we really have to look at how we relate to one another and how we listen to one another, how we receive the, the information, you know, what what is really listening. And so that's another that's I have a whole chapter on the book just about listening, because if you think about it, how many times have you been told in a relationship, well, you don't listen? Yeah, you don't listen. listen. You don't listen. I think you hear that, you hear that more often than anything else. You people, hear that a people, lot. And if people are communicating and having conversation, they're talking about two different conversations. Exactly. So and then think about connecting. Right. And how many times have you actually been taught how to listen? So think about kindergarten all the way through of whenever you stop going to school, you know, you've never been formally taught to listen. So how are how are we really equipping ourselves and one another with the tools that we need to be successful in a relationship? And most people don't get that, ever. And so I think that's why relationships fail. Not because we don't love each other, because we don't want to love each other, but because we really don't know how. And so we have to just really dig deep, get to the bottom of it, and be willing to um, to listen and share and have a really open and honest exchange. And um, I think we'll get to that place. I really do. I think we'll get back to the place where black men's hearts really turn back to black women and black women's hearts turn back to black men and we really are able to love one another and build. Perfect. That's what's up, man. Toast to love and revolution. Nation <laughs> love building. Love and revolution. Nation building. Marcus yeah. Garvey. Yeah. So family. So family. That was it, family. Um, we'll our, call it forever. Our, our strong conversation on relationships on, and nation building. So if you're out there swirling, swing back around and focus. You know love what? who you love. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> <laughs> love who you love. <laughs> And be happy so you can smile like he's smiling. <laughs> like I'm smiling. Love who you love. Family, if you want to see me stay, keep it strong, you know, connect with a black woman. Black men, connect with a black woman. And black woman, connect with a black man. And let's keep it strong. If you have other choices, you know, do your thing, you know. I, I, I don't have to be in your business, yeah. But uh, if you want to join a revolution, you know, you only have one option. Alright, so family, my sister, I told <laughs> keep, you, you're gonna drop, you're gonna drop your uh, your chorus, uh, "Love Who You Love." Is that is that a new song you come out with? <laughs> yeah, love who you love. <laughs>